Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Chicago Wolves tickets coming up in about six minutes when we get to clash with Kenzie for their Halloween game uh, this Saturday night. Also, early text here before we get to sports. Comes from Marco in Plainfield. Marco says from Plainfield, if Brian spends sports talking about not getting a damn antenna, I'll Amazon him one. Funny you say that, Marco, from Plainfield. Oh, boy. I have a story coming up in sports about not getting an antenna to watch the Blackhawks game last night. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. Now, the Blackhawks did play last night. I didn't see it, okay? Saw some highlights on the wonderful internet. And, uh, boy, they got screwed on a couple calls that were terrible from a very good Vancouver Canucks team, but they lost 6-3 to three at the Madhouse. Now, I promised you I was going to get an antenna, an HD antenna, because the Chicago Sports Network is only available to DirecTV users, a few other people out there. And if you want to watch Chicago sports, this sounds so, I don't know, 1991. You have to get a TV antenna if you want to watch Chicago sports, Blackhawks, White Sox, or the Bulls tonight. We'll get to that in a second. I went to Target after dropping Case off, because I dropped Case off at home every day, went to the Target, a big Target too, not just one of those smaller ones. I go to their electronics department, which is, by the way, elite. They have an incredible electronics department at Target's. And I go, hey, do you guys got the HD TV antennas? Can you direct me to one? And the helpful salesperson goes, you know what? I don't know right now. Walk me back over there. All of their things were out of HD TV antennas, which I guess is a sign. Everyone's buying them. Correct. Now, there was one $10 one. The one he wanted to sell me was were out of about $30 ones. No, just get the $10 one. That's what I thought, Kenzie. You're using it for one station. I understand. But, but. he kind of went to me, and he, he he leaned over to him, and he put his hand over his mouth, and he goes, I wouldn't get that one. It's not that good. That sounds scary. It's like a horror movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you do. I was like, whoa, <laughs> settle down. Yeah. He was very nice. I'm glad he did that, and I didn't buy it. So I bought one on Amazon that's coming today so I can get it set up for the Bulls game tonight. So I will have an HDTV antenna video up at Q101's Facebook page to guide everybody through, like myself, that have, you know, I'm sorry that the Chicago Sports Network didn't handle their business and get it on, I don't know, YouTube TV or Xfinity, how most people in Chicago watch things. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, but I'll get that antenna up and running. So Here, I can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see this video. And that leads to, of course, the Bulls tonight as the NBA season opened last night. But your Chicago Bulls opening at the Pelicans tonight, last year, 39 wins for the Bulls. Projected for this year, do you think it's higher or less than that number? Like higher, because Lonzo is probably going to play mm. a little bit. Yeah. Oh. They're not believing that. They're not believing in Lonzo yet. Uh, 27 and a half is the over-under on wins for the Bulls this year. How many games did they play? So 82 games. Well, that's a lot of games. <laughs> 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 yeah. Kathy, what number were you expecting Brian to say? Oh, I was like for 27, so I was like they probably win at least half. No, so I was I was thinking like 50-ish. Mm, 50's a good win total. So, well, I, no, I thought 50 total games. Ah. Because I'm like, if they're supposed to win 27, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's eight, 80 what? Two? 80, 82. Jeez. Um, so 39 last year, 27. I'm taking the over on that. I really think the Bulls will win more than 27 games. I don't half. think they're going to be any good, but I think they'll win more than 27 games. 27 and a half has got to be close to record territory, you think? I just, uh, so those post-Jordan years were pretty bleak. Okay. What? How many do you have to win to... Um, Get in the playoffs? Yeah. I mean, that's subjective, obviously, knowing Put each... Put around. Give me, I, uh, like, 50. A, about whoa, 50. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You need, like, in the Eastern Conference, you need, like, 38 wins. Because well, you, you have the play-in tournament now, Kinsey. You see, it used to be the top eight teams that made the playoffs. Now it's the top 10 in seeds 7 through 10 or in the playoffs and, like, a mini playoffs before the actual playoffs. Bulls need to win, like, 35 games to get into that. I just saw oh, Kenzie's so head. It. Kenzie's <laughs> head just went like that. I just, I, I could never, and I, this is shocking news, could never be an athlete. I'm just like, <laughs> this is, we're just going to run up and down this thing again. Okay, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> I did actually, my mind wandered on the play and I, I thought 50 games is a good total to make the playoffs but really you're well, right if the you east... win 50 games you're making the playoffs but you don't need that many especially in the east yeah Lonzo Ball is making his NBA debut since not having played for a thousand days since January 22nd I put reference to that that my daughter Harper turns two in a couple weeks she's never seen Lonzo Ball play basketball 
What a, what a deprived life she's had. Poor girl. Um, and Lonzo Ball will be on a 14 to 16 minute restriction tonight in the game with the Pelicans. Not bad for a guaranteed cash deal of his $80 million contract, making $21,395,348 this season to play 14 minutes tonight, if that. 14 minutes for the whole, that's it? Yeah, for the whole game. Why is he restricted? Is he like in trouble? What do you mean? <laughs> he hasn't played in a thousand days. He's, he's, they're creaky. So they're going to make sure he does all oh, like for injury yeah, like, purposes? Err, yeah. I see. They want to make sure he can still run and shoot and pass. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's tonight. Uh, the Bulls tonight at the Pelicans. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q. 101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Call now, 312-591-8300 for your chance at Chicago Wolves tickets this Saturday night versus the Milwaukee Admirals. It's the Halloween game at the All-State Arena. Come dressed in your costume. Kids can go trick-or-treating on the concourse. Special ticket packages available to provide youngsters with a special bag to collect goodies. All kinds of fun there at the game. That's so cool. They did it for families at the Chicago Wolves. Our great friends helped make this happen at the Allstate Arena this Saturday. 312-591-8300. Call now for your chance at those tickets beating Kenzie in trivia. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. With Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. Well, here we go for Chicago Wolves tickets. And it's the Halloween game this Saturday. Halloween. So good at the Allstate Arena, what they do for the families out there. Best family experience for Halloween. And it's the week before it, so you get kind of extended play with it. Um, furnished by our great friends at the Chicago Wolves. Michael and Aurora competing against Kenzie today for these tickets. Michael, ahoy, tell us something about yourself. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, I love you guys, first of all. And, uh, you. you know, I am a uh, branch manager for a commercial trucking company, so like a big semi, box trucks. Oh, and I'm uh, a nice. father of uh, three young kids, so I'm in the thick of it right now. Damn. Oh, I feel you. We should get together. We have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> can, I come, can I come over there and drive a semi? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I love you this said, guy. Yeah, really fast. <laughs> I want one too now. There oh. has to be a prerequisite. No. All right. You know, I have no follow up awesome. questions. Yeah. I'll uh, be over after the show. Asked what, and answered. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, my dream That's was to it. be a, my dream was to be a truck driver as a kid. That big horn. Oh. oh, and the bed in the back. Yeah, the bed in the back behind. Sleeper. You had a sleeper. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. That you. Your dream was of a small bed you wouldn't fit on? <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be six four and a quarter when okay, I was little kid. <laughs> ah, anyway. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's just get to it because uh, I'll be over after the show. Uh, perfect. First one to five wins. Listen carefully. If Kenzie gets one wrong, you can steal a point. She can do the same to you. Call heads or tails, Michael? Tails. Ah, it's heads. Uh-huh. Ah. For letting me drive the truck, I wanted to give it to her. But, you, know. Uh, you, know. you just lie. <laughs> You're going to get the bad truck. Oh. You should be a politician. You're like, yes, you let me die for talk. I'll just lie. <laughs> All right, Kenzie, you're up first. Uh, question number one. What holiday do Americans celebrate on the third Monday in January? Oh, January. It's always my first day off after we get back, which is nice. It's um, MLK Day, baby. <laughs> I figured a big star by oh, that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we've been back for three weeks. I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's take another day off. Uh, Michael, OneNote, SharePoint, and Outlook are all productivity softwares made by what company? Microsoft. Microsoft, 1-1. One, one. Back to Kenzie. Mm-hmm. Uh, what popular American mascot figure is often seen pointing with the caption, I want you? <laughs> Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is right. Uh, Kenzie thought it was JFK yesterday. I want to make sure we're all learning here and growing. That's right. She confused JFK and Uncle Sam. Sorry, they're both like, hey, you. You know what I mean? Sorry. I don't know if there's a picture of JFK pointing. I'm not sure. We have to look for that. Maybe at the shooter. I bet I could find one. At the shooter. Hey, always. Hey, you. You That guy's got a gun. (laughs) How am I the only one seeing this? What? I can't hear you over the crowd. What'd you say? Oh, boy. Kenzie, the problem is everybody saw it, but they wanted it to happen. They didn't do anything about it. That's horrible to say. I I didn't kill JFK. The government did. But you said you wanted it to happen? No, he didn't. He said people did. Yeah. Oh, you know what? To be he honest. He said everyone. 
boy, do we really not have time to get into that conversation because that could be a great show. You should never wish somebody dies. I mm. wish JFK was still alive. He was a good president. Yeah. Again, we don't well, have time. To, we don't have time to break down JFK in the middle of trivia. I guess I don't know a lot about him. Well, you thought he was Uncle Sam, so. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. You see? All right, two to one. Back to Michael. Michael, what style of shoe does the Statue of Liberty wear? Sandals. It is sandals. Good job. Well, she can't stand in heels the whole time. Oh, you must be a <laughs> really brutal. So it's back to Kenzie. That's right, two to two. Kenzie, uh, Yoko Ono is often blamed for breaking up what band? The Beatles. The Beatles. Never let your girlfriend in the practices. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> People in bands out there. Never. It well, never works out. Let's blame the woman. But if adult men couldn't figure it out. That's must correct. Be her. Yes, I agree. No, 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 no. It's she, only no, her. No, no, it is only her with the Beatles. She broke up the Beatles. <laughs> no. Let's not shift blame. Not at all. It was but her. But she's so pretty. Uh I'm going to move on. <laughs> back to Uncle Sam and JFK. <laughs> three to two, back to Michael. Okay, Michael, what are the three parts of the Holy Trinity? Uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. What have they accepted Holy Spirit, too? It depends on which uh, religion you are, which ones they say. That's right. We're Catholic uh, here, so, you know, that's how we do it. There you yeah. go. That's, that's how, how we do it, baby. <laughs> uh, three to three? And back to Kenzie. Kenzie, gingivitis is the inflammation of what? Your gums. Your gums. Four, three. Uh, let's see. Back to Michael. Mm -hmm. uh, name two countries that start with the letter J, Michael. Jamaica. Yes. And three, two, J, one. Uh, oh, boy. This is Kenzie for the win. Oh, boy. Is so it? two countries start with a J. Uh, Jamaica and Jerusalem. Uh, oh. Jer Jerusalem? No. no, that's not it. That's, that's not, not a, a country. It's not. I don't know. What oh. is it? <laughs> what would it be? It's not a continent. <laughs> so the three are Jamaica, Japan, and Jordan. Uh, Those are the three Jerusalem? countries. What is Jerusalem? It's the capital of Israel. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <Haven't been. laughs> Oh, boy. It's a Mike. big one. That's the first thing that came to my head. I gotta be honest. Michael, you've got uh, some signs of life here. Um, <laughs> In A Nightmare on Elm Street, what is the name of the killer who haunts dreams? In A Nightmare on Elm Street, the killer's name. Isn't it Kenzie's dream? Oh, I think it is Kenzie's question, actually. Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah, that's oh, right. That's nice. You asked me the Yeah. Oh, my bad. Uh, so, Kenzie, the, uh, the name of the killer? Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Oh, Michael, I'm so sorry. You know what, though? Sorry. He was so honest about that because he could have just answered and moved on. I would give him the tickets. He's got kids. This is a kid event. I'm going to do that. So wow. sorry. I veto you. Very generous. Well, he couldn't. I wasn't going to say anything because I don't want to be like, that son of a bitch, this is my turn. So <laughs> that was very nice of him. Is that how nice you were going to say it, too? <laughs> 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 All right, Michael, Kenzie uh, awards you the tickets anyway. Oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, you're awesome, man. Enjoy that, and I'll be over later to drive the semi, okay? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. All right, tomorrow, remember, same time. Uh, in fact, get in and make sure you're here around 710. We get you on the phones for Clash with Kenzie. Your chance at those Chicago Wolves tickets for the Halloween game this Saturday. It is Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Coming up here in about 10 minutes at 745, one of the most memorable moments in TV history as we look back, as we like to do, 20 years on certain days of things, because 2004 was a bizarre year of so many things that happened and cannot believe it was 20 years ago when you look at those events. And this is one of them. The most memorable moment in TV history and that what happened in 2004 on this day. We'll talk about that at 745. You can think about it. See if you can uh, grab that one. In the meantime, while you're thinking about it, reminding you to head up to Q101.com. Uh, boy, are we ecstatic over the response to Brian and Kenzie's God Bless the Gravy food drive. We launched it on Monday. And we do it every year. Hundreds of thousands of meals through you guys have uh, certainly helped people eat around the Chicagoland area by donating. And we, it's the one time of the year we ask you, and we don't want to do it often. This is it. Asking you to donate whatever you can to help out the Chicago Food Drive, the Greater Chicago Food Depository. So we have exceeded 15,000 meals with big help 
last night from somebody named Terry, I won't say their last name, who donated $667 on the site. And, man, that right there is like 1,800, over 1,800 meals. One dollar, three meals. It's insane. It's It's insane, and it's like, it's so kind, and the amount of people that... Uh, I'm not sure if Terry's a boy or girl, I have to be honest. I don't know either. go either way. So, I don't know either. That person, that individual yes. has helped many, many, many people. And that's just so, it's so kick-ass to do around this time because I get it. It's really, really hard this time of year, you know, because you, people know, like, they're, the holidays are coming up. Like, you know, Thanksgiving can be expensive. And then whatever holiday you do celebrate in December, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, like there's just, there's so many and it's really pricey. Yes. And to take the time to give so people can just eat this season, it's, it's such a kind thing to do because we all know that we have a lot coming up. So a huge thank you. But I'm also blown away. This is the most we've accomplished in a short amount of time with this food drive ever. It's certainly out of the gate huge we want to get thirty thousand meals which is ten thousand dollars we're already at over fifteen thousand we're halfway to our goal in less than two days and now we want to keep this going if we can hit the goal of thirty thousand meals by the end of the week let's say well that's fine we'll keep going to a hundred thousand meals the more people eat uh you're saving lives literally mm-hmm. with every dollar and you don't have to do six hundred dollars you could do five dollars if everybody Absolutely. listening just texted gravy right now you text gravy to three one two five nine one eighty three hundred a link will come back to you Five bucks, that's 15 meals, boom. Talk about instant karma and paying it forward. Everybody could do that right now. It'd be great. If you can do more, even better. And businesses that check in, if you have a chance, we'll mention your business. We'll give you free advertising for your donations and how great you guys are because several businesses already donated as well. So go to Q101.com. It's there on, of course, our social platforms. But the easiest way is to text GRAVY to 312-591-8300. And uh, slap back some donation there. We would appreciate it. Let's get to our goal of 30,000 meals by the end of the week. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.